Hello everyone, this is Zara. Today I am going to share some unbelievable places that you have to visit before you die. Our world is so full of wonders that new unusual places and beautiful nature are discovered every day. Some of the beautiful places to visit in this collection will be of all natural sites you can find while traveling around the world. Let's dig out what are those places. Tunnel of Love in Ukraine For those of us who are head over heels in love, here's a new place to visit. The Tunnel of Love, located in Ukraine, used to be just another train rail section, but eventually turned into one of the most beautiful places on earth. As trees were left to grow freely around the rails, the passing train was the only thing shaping its way through. Eventually, by crossing the Cleven village forest back and forth three times a day, the train shaped a closed tree tunnel according to its size, offering stunningly beautiful views. Today this tunnel of love in Ukraine is a highly popular place to see among lovers. It is believed that if two people are sincere in their love and cross the old tree tunnel while holding each other's hands, their wishes will come true. Tulip Fields near Amsterdam in Holland one of the most frequently asked questions is where the Dutch flower fields are located. In the Netherlands you can find several locations where you can see tulips in spring. The most famous area with the most beautiful flower fields is around Kokenhof Tulip Gardens at only 40 km from the center of Amsterdam. The area is called, Bollenstreek. The Bollenstreek is located behind the North Sea Dunes, between the cities of Amsterdam, Leiden, Haarlem, and The Hague. There are countless flower fields full of tulips, daffodils and hyacinths. The Bollenstreek is also famous for the real Dutch countryside landscape views, which are beautiful in combination with the colored fields. Sala de Uyoni, one of the world's largest mirrors. Sala de Uyoni, Sala is salt flat in Spanish, is currently the world's largest salt flat at 10,582 square kilometers, 4,086 square miles. Actually, some 30,000 to 42,000 years ago, the area was part of a giant prehistoric lake, Lake Minshin. When it dried, it left behind two modern lakes and two major salt deserts, Sala de Kipasa and the larger Sala de Uyoni. Located in southwest Bolivia, near the crest of the Andes, it is covered by a few meters of salt crust, which has an extraordinary flatness with the average altitude variations within one meter over the entire area of the Sala. The large area, clear skies and exceptional surface flatness make the Sala an ideal object for calibrating the altimeters of Earth observation satellites. The Mendenhall Glacier is a 12-mile long glacier in the Mendenhall Valley, only 12 miles from downtown Juneau in southeast Alaska. The glacier originally had two names, Sitantagu, Glacier Behind the Town, and Aketatsit, Glacier Behind the Little Lake. Inside the glacier are the stunning blue ice caves, accessible only to those willing to kayak to the edge of the ice and then climb over the glacier. Sadly, this Juno glacier is retreating increasingly fast as climate change warms the ocean. The Mendenhall Glacier has receded almost 2 miles since 1958, while previously it had receded only 0.5 miles since 1500. The ice caves are in part a function of this glacial melting. Images of the caves circulate the internet with such captions as otherworldly and surreal, but shrinking and fleeting could be used as well, as this glacier creates incredible ever-changing landscapes while we watch it melt away. Lake Hylia is one of the extraordinary sights you'll see flying or cruising through the pristine wilderness of the Russia Shea Archipelago. Located on Middle Island, the largest of the Russia Shea Islands and is 11 kilometers from the coast of Cape Arad National Park. The lake is separated from the Southern Ocean by a thin strip of sand and it's believed that the water's strawberry milkshake color is due to the extremely high level of salinity. This discovery was made in 1802, when Matthew Flinders led an expedition to the islands and collected a sample from the lake, but there has been no definitive proof that salt is the source of its unique hue. Measuring 600 meters wide and shaped like a footprint, this relatively small feature has a huge impact when viewed from a scenic flight or cruise, and the untouched islands of the Recherche Archipelago create a stunning backdrop. 
Please note the pink color of Lake Helia is a natural phenomenon and cannot be guaranteed depending on the natural changes in the lake. When the lake is discolored, scenic flights that usually operate over the area will instead take tourists over the amazing two dozen pink and rainbow colored lakes nestled amongst the farmland near Esperance. The Pink Lake in Senegal, also known as Lake Ritba lies north of the Cape Verde Peninsula of Senegal, some 30 kilometers northeast of the capital, Dhaka, in northwest Africa. It is named for its pink waters caused by Daneliala salina algae and is known for its high salt content, up to 40% in some areas. The lake is known for high salt content, up to 40% in some areas, which is caused by the ingress of seawater and its subsequent evaporation. Like the Dead Sea, the lake is sufficiently buoyant that people can float easily. Salt is exported across the region by up to 3,000 collectors, men, and women from all over Western Africa, who work 6 to 7 hours a day, and protect their skin with shea butter. The salt is used by Senegalese fishermen to preserve fish, a component of many traditional recipes including the national dish, a fish and rice meal called Thibaudien. About 38,000 tons of salt are harvested from this lake each year. It makes up part of the national salt produced in Senegal and is the number one producer in Africa. Thank you for watching this video, please do not forget to subscribe our channel and turn on bell notification so that you could get all of our amazing videos on time.